This is the full build of the full mechanics aerial from Witch from Mercury. Okay, now that we've got all the prep work done, the pieces off the runners and organized, I'm going to go right on ahead and do the build, so let's just get right on into this. So, we will start off with the, as in the instructions, with the arms. Now, the nice thing about this model is essentially, until you get down to the hands, everything, the hands and I guess a couple of armor pieces, everything is essentially duplicated for each of the arms. The pieces are the same, it's just the orientation of some of the joints might be a little bit different, so. They have, they have, you just do this one section, which is for both arm units, and then there's a small section just for the various um, differences in the right and, and left arm. So we're going to start with the right arm. Okay. Picture's a little bit misleading. It's really this round part here like you would any other joint. Makes it seem like it's this clip here, but it's not. It's just the angle of the pieces and the, uh, you know, trying to get the 3D image of it. There we go. It's another case where the arrow is slightly not pointing in the right place. Oh, no, well, I guess it is. Huh. Oh, there it is. It's this little tiny one. Ah, arrow is covering up the little slot right there. Okay. Pointing in the right place just doesn't show you the where it fits in. That's why this one right here is very helpful. Ah. What the heck just happened? <laughs> The snap didn't go together very well. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, when I pushed on this, the little peg right here snapped. So I wound up applying just a little bit of glue. So be very careful when doing the uh, shoulder pieces because. Snapping them together, if you're not exactly on, and you do a little bit of bending, it could snap the piece. 
which is I, I've never I've never encountered that before. That's interesting. See, that, that part, top part will keep everything together there. Just gonna wait a moment for the glue to dry so I don't, because this is a, this right there is to articulation, so I'm gonna wait to put that on. So we have a under effect here. Backwards. Putting them backwards now, it's fitting in there just fine. And Indicator is very helpful because both sides have that little raised. Just got to get it in right. There we go. I 
Let's see. One side has okay. Not the side, it's the it's the front or back, whatever you want to call it. You gotta make sure that you can feel a bridge right here on the saw on the say the front. And that has to be pointing towards the curved part. That must be the locking mechanism to get it in there. There we go. Much better. There. There, it's locked in there now. Okay. Still hold off and putting this. Let that dry as much as I can. Okay. Not sure what happened, but my recording suddenly just froze up. So I didn't notice until I got a few bits, but the nice thing about this being an arm, there's another one, so I'll be able to show how these parts went together when I uh, do the second arm. So just everything slowed down, and when I checked the the already recorded bits, it was missing a huge chunk. <laughs> so it's just the uh, OE Studio decided to just uh, not do things for a little while. Okay. Now I'll go ahead and just snap that on. Okay, good. That's going to stay in place. And then we're over here to the right arm specific, and as far as the the, the um, shoulder is concerned, it just matters how this peg is oriented. So it's either going to be this way or that way. So everything else is exactly the same for both arms until you get to the hand. Put this in quite carefully. Maybe I should put, attach that before. Let's see here, okay. There we go, snap that in. Okay. And then the lower arm goes on. And then we worry about the hand. Let me put this on here. And that just snaps into place. It's got a couple of pegs that just kind of give this a little bit of rotation. Okay. So. Hold it like this. Okay, good.
Good. I guess this is the standard way of doing the 1 100th scale, is the, the anything with a ball joint on the hand goes in, and then the back of the hand locks it into place so it doesn't pop out, which is nice. And anyone will understand what I'm talking about if you've worked with early real grade <laughs> hands. Okay, cool. And that looks like it's just a fist hand. And there are other hands that can be swapped out. It's one of those where essentially you just swap out the fingers of the hand for each different type of grip and stuff like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and do the left hand, or left arm. And this is gonna be exactly the same until the hand gets put together and you'll just have the shoulder peg pointing in the opposite direction. And I'll be very careful when I put the, the joint together, the uh, shoulder together. Nice this and this. It goes like that. This snaps them together. Okay, and now the armor part. This is where I gotta be very careful. Don't wanna snap the peg again. Make sure there were no nubs that I missed keeping things from fitting together. It's just that I have to get everything lined up properly. And just all push together at the top and not the bottom. There we go. And then we throw this here on to keep everything in place. And then we'll get the effects in here. We can go ahead and put this on now. There we go. There we go. Munch that off. Okay. So, yeah, that part goes okay, so. much nicer, and then this goes on. I need to make sure that the that, that edge on the pointing towards the curvy part. Much easier this time. Since I know what to look for <laughs> and what to feel for for the orientation of these. But that's not in the all the way. There you go. There we are. Much nicer. OK. 
Okay. And then this goes on. There we are. Put that aside for right now. Got this and this that snap together. And then put that down. We have this piece. Whoop. place this time. We will find out very soon. Yes, we do. There's a there's a tab there to lock into here that tells you to put it in the right place, so there we are. I like the fact that this little Part of the inner frame shows through here. That's really cool. Now the beautiful thing about this kit is they did a ton of undergating, which means that the you know where the piece attached to the runner doesn't leave all these nub marks everywhere that are visible when everything's put together. So I've got to say, I mean it. it was a bit more of a pain in the butt to clean the pieces um, because some of the places where the nubs wound up being, because if it couldn't be undergated, they made sure that it was in a place that wouldn't show where the gate attached. So it made very small areas where it was tough to get even sandpaper in without affecting other parts of the piece, but it was definitely worth the um the extra hassle because it's going to look really really nice when put together there we go and then this goes on here and then this covers here Nice. And then this goes here. That's really nice. It's got the extra movement here, which normally doesn't happen on the forearm. And then the shoulder. matter and figure it out when we put everything together because that turns and we'll get the hand together And yeah, we'll go ahead and do the open hand on this one, as opposed to the fist hand. I'll just throw this over there for later. It's a bit stiff. Let's get that loosen up a little bit. Because this shoulder is still fairly, um, Okay. Okay. Now we can do the body. Or the torso, or whatever you want to call it.
it's about that. Mm. There's quite a few under effects for this one for the activation. That's that. Okay. Yep, it's that, uh, <laughs> it's, here. it's how the torso attaches. This here attaches to the waist, and then this attaches to the chest part of the torso to give kind of some back and forth, you know, some bend to the torso itself. And then we've got the neck part here, and this also Yeah. Yeah, this moves into there's a little place where the ball joint snaps in. This is actually okay. On the HG kit, this becomes very loose when you try to move it. The chest is constantly popping off, but this is actually quite nice because it snapped right in and now it's gonna be tough to get out. Good. Good. <laughs> Once I saw that, I'm like, oh no, not again. But I didn't have to worry about it, which is good. These must be shoulders.
Sides. Okay, we're doing this so. Oh, that's supposed to... Oh, I see. Supposed to click, but it didn't. It's only as far as it go. Yes. Okay, so it locks everything into place. That's a much better joint in the in this than the HG kit. That ain't coming out. Good. And we pop on the shoulders.
Ooh, sharp. Then that's where this attaches. And then this attaches to that. And then this little blue part. Attaches right on here. Very nice. And then section this is good. Sits there for right now, and the side pieces hold it in. Very nice. Okay. Let me put together the backpack. Okay. This. And then this back piece. This blue piece must hold it all together then. Yep. That's what happens. Cool. And this just needs to hold the beam saber, saber handles. And then this just snaps right on the back. So it's kind of a back, it's the backpack equivalent. Like that. Let's 
supposed to be. Something didn't snap in when it was supposed to. Let's just take the blue part off again and do it again. I miss the fact that there were some pegs at the bottom here that it had to fit into. I did it. Oh, these haven't gone in all the way. That's what's wrong. Take that off. Take this off. And then redo the yellow. That's what happened. That didn't fit in exactly right. Let's just move those out of the way. So I'm going to get in here and just pop that off. And then make sure that I get the bottom part snapped in as well. There we go. Much better. together now. Yes, look at that. Much, much better. And there we go. Torso is done. Now this model has no color correcting stickers. That includes for any lenses or eyes or anything like that. So the eyes are just this green, this color here. So we'll have to see how that looks. <laughs> That's as far as it goes in. Oh. Seems strange. That is as far as it goes in. You would think, I mean, I guess it is. There's gaps. Well, those gaps won't be visible once the back is on, but. <laughs> okay.
maybe. Looks like they're gonna die. Oh, jeez, I'm that much better. Okay. There we go, I had the head upside down. Much better. Much nicer. Okay. Tiny pieces of work over here. Oh, and that was the back lens as well. This goes on there. And then the side pieces go on. Aerials, somewhat unique aerials. <laughs> Very pet labor there. And then that way, this holds it down. First, and that was 
fit me into there. And that one's sticking down. Cool. Maybe. Okay, now it's time for the legs. This one up. What's this do? This is ankle. Oh, that's cool. I bet you this is the ankle. <laughs> yes, it is. That is actually really good. We're going to have to actually have some true angle movement. Another part to be very careful about that fits in there very tightly. If you twist it too much, I think you're going to wind up snapping the connection. This right here. Oops. Okay. We're going to 
with Anya first. There we go. This is tricky. Oh, yes, there we go. Come on, how come I can only get one half? <laughs> to do the toe movement. There's a lot of movement in the foot. That's intense. But there's no rotation. And the heel is static. But that's, that's pretty good, actually. on this. There is no on backwards, didn't I? Yes, I did.
There we are. And now this one match. Okay, there's the foot. And right leg. This one has a lot more dif differentiation between the right and the left leg. The only thing that's the same really is the foot. Each foot is the same. But the rest, everything's oriented either left or right. There's a little, huh. There's little tabs on this peg right here that fit into here. You can only put it on one way. And you know which peg to put it on. This goes on. Okay, this is the upper leg. So it's this, and this fits in here. Which fits into there. And there's three pegs on one side of this effect and two on the other, so you know which one is left and right for the upper leg pieces, the thigh pieces. And that one goes on here.
was a little bit tough to get that little thing in there. And then everything will fit properly. Everything fits properly now. One thing I've learned with the Bandai kits is to trust that everything fits the way it's supposed to. And if it doesn't, that means that something didn't snap in properly. Or I'm trying to put the piece in the wrong place. There we go. Double joint for me. That's that. Okay. That's cool. That's going to be. That would be interesting. Okay.
that's nice. Okay. There. Okay. So this right here goes like that. This part this part goes in like this. And this part goes in like this. That goes in like that, okay. And this I get this in the line. I got those two in line, and they must have lined up. Ah, come on. What's going on here? One way to put these on. You, know, you can't get them wrong because there's a key that goes in and it makes sure that everything lines up. So the cables come out the way they're supposed to. That's cool. Look at that. That's neat. And then and then we put this on right here. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Take a good part, good amount off. I grabbed the wrong piece.
there are a few pieces that look the same in the diagram, unfortunately. So when you take the pieces apart and you don't know the numbers anymore, sometimes it bites you. Not often. So this goes here, into that little slot there, and then these guys go back right into here. Okay, and then. This back on. This goes on, and then this goes on right here. So that when the leg comes apart, look at that. Nice little separation there. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Not bad. And then this just goes right on to there. So we've got ankle rotation. Oh, okay, we've got some foot rotation just because of that piece there. And definitely toe tip. Cool. Okay. Let's see if I make the same mistakes. <laughs> I doubt I will. I hope I won't. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah. Uh, I knew what I was trying to do. It's easier the second time. Okay, that's done.
Excuse me. is blocking it.
Jesus. No, wait a Wait. Because that's supposed to point to that. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, a little bit of a ridge on this, so... That's it. <laughs> yep, just a little ridge existed. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Very nice. Alrighty, leg number two. Now the waste.
this piece I'm leaving in there, that's just the adapter for the stand. So I don't need that right now. That. That's the other side screw. this Put it up there and this okay that's the cover for when the stand's not in use wait a minute that is the adapter
るんですけど Uh, yeah, that is part of the shooting. This comes to the wrong part. Okay. And the very understated <laughs> skirts for the aerial. Very nice. All right, that, that's cool. Is that bad? Okay. Let's go ahead and do the shield. The shield also has all the gun bits on it as well. Okay.
that's supposed to go. Like that. This right there. And this that goes inside of this event. This goes in here. Look at that. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice use of the underframe. Or inner frame, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm gonna do a couple of these. And that is these things here. Okay, so
Okay, now it's time to assemble the shield.
Okay. Yeah, I'm done. This is pretty simple to put together, just three pieces. Okay. I guess four pieces if you include the beam effect. So let's go ahead and throw that on here. Be nice if there was a peg or something that fit in there. Give it a little bit better grip, but actually it does fairly well. And there we go. The aerial for mechanics. Which right now it's the only option for one one hundredth scale. And the rest is to do the bit forms, the gun bits. But hey. I just wish it had a better way of gripping the gun. But considering how heavy the gun is compared that's not so bad. Okay, cool. Here is the full mechanic aerial. All completed. Looks good. A couple tricky places to build, but not too bad. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Thank you for watching this video right to the end. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. That does help out the channel. If you would like notifications as to when new videos are posted to this channel, please do subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you do have time, please do enjoy one of the videos that are popping up around my head.